my coffee maker has decided to stop working this morning. I'm trying to clean it. It's Thanksgiving Day and I don't have any coffee. I'm pretty sure this counts as cyber abuse. This poor robot gets worked every single day. She locked him in this room in here, made him clean up in there, and then when it was good enough, she let him out. Every day, Carl runs. Jordan Community Bible Church. Connecting with God, connecting with people, changing the world. Alright, I guess it's time to introduce you to Jordan Community Bible Church, where uh, we pastor here in Montana. Uh, tell you a little bit about the church. It's been here for 25 years. It is a Southern Baptist church, and um, I've been here for 14 of those years. It's a little church. Um, uh, we average between 40 and 50 most Sundays. It's in a town of 300 people, and uh, it is not a church that most people say, oh man, I really wish God would give me a church like that, until they come visit. Uh, we have great fellowship. This town is absolutely wonderful. Uh, the church is great, and uh, even though it's not big, there's so many different things going on, and as, the, as we uh, go through the blog, you'll learn more and more about it. But this is my office. I spend uh, a few hours here during the week because I'm in uh, school trying to work on my MDiv. Um, so, you know, you'll probably hear more about that. Since we are a ministry family, we are uh, going to be showing the ins and outs of ministry uh, ups and downs, highs and lows, goods and bads. Uh, we will protect the privacy of our church members. So, um, you're not going to hear any juicy details or anything like that. Uh, but we'll show you just kind of what it's like to, uh, to get the privilege to pastor in a place like this. Uh, I feel sorry for you guys that are stuck in the cities because we have it pretty good out here. We might be country, but I preach from an iPad. We do a little bit of everything. So there's Sharon working on Pro Presenter before we start. Worship. What are we starting? Worship worship practice. Worship practice. We gotta start worship practice. We'll show you a little bit about that. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to talk to our YouTube channel? Saying I'm re so it's God rest you merry gentlemen, then hallowed manger ground, then O come Emmanuel, and then a little town of Bethlehem. Monday night, Bible study. I, I have to wash my hands first. Yes, you do. Wash your hands with soap, please. I will. Thank you. Dump it in there. Shake it. What? Shake, shake, what shake. Where is this stuff? 
<laughs> well, you gotta crack it harder than that on the cat. Well, you're getting it, I guess. That makes it easy to get shells in there, so be careful with those little pieces. Oh, I think we got a piece. Good job. Two high pies. Two? Because we're making two pies? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to do what we need to do yeah. to roll out our cinnamon roll. Put a little flour on my counter. Then I just rub it in. So that it looks like this. So now they're here. So they're going to have to rise again. Like Jesus, rise again. The boys are out there playing with their cat. See, so Elijah's throwing tennis balls. Because their cat will fetch. Oh, there she is. There's Flash. Thank you. Thank you. Did you get your skateboard put away? Yeah. Is it cold? Uh, yes. I had to put it in the garage and it was really hard. Because Flash always tries to get in there. So this is the second time we've had a ninja that went on the fritz like this. Clean it, clean it, clean it, and we had to go turn it in. This one's probably out of warranty by now, but there's a coffee pot at the church. Can I say Thanksgiving? Who wants to start with the what you're thankful for? Now, we're going to set a rule this year, though. Jesus doesn't count. We all know we're thankful for salvation in Jesus. You'll start? Okay. okay. Tell us one thing you're Jeremiah's thankful for. Gonna start. I'm thankful for Flash. For oh, Flash. That's nice. I'm thankful for my family. Legs. What are you thankful for? We got legs. Mm. So we have legs. That's a good <laughs> one. I'm thankful for the great blessings that we are enjoying right now with a warm house and good food. Okay, let's pray. Father God, we thank you because you are the creator and sustainer and originator of all of the blessings that we enjoy. We set aside this day to say thank you for how good you are to us. We don't deserve it, but because of your grace and your goodness, we are beneficiaries and we are so thankful for that opportunity. I ask that you give us a good time as we sit around this great meal. I ask for your blessings on uh, each person who's here, I pray for blessings on our community and all those who are also enjoying Thanksgiving meals with their family today. Above all, may you be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So it looks like it's turning out okay, even without coffee. 